Hey there, uh, this is uh, Brian Fields, uh, amateur radio call sign W9CR again. Doing a little short video here, a little something I built. Um, it was a cheap isolation transformer and, and load tester for some equipment that I had. Um, I needed to rig something up fairly quickly and this is what I came up with. Um, basically I have a, a, I wouldn't say a nice power supply, but it's a, a nice, uh, let me see if I can move this here. Um, I have to move the camera here. Okay. So this thing here is old, old, old. It's an unregulated DC supply. And that knob in the middle is an auto transformer. It's kind of neat. It's got zero to 130 volt output right from the auto transformer. And it's also got DC output too. The DC output is basically horrible. It's a neat high power auto transformer. So anyways, um, the problem with an auto transformer of course is that it's not isolated and with the two prong extension cord and everything else you don't want to do something that you know that isn't isolated so anyways um that's not good that was probably a bit of an issue there um <laughs> whoops so this setup here is essentially um it's a two transformers back to back that one's getting warm Ugh. turn the power down so I haven't used this in a while so might be something going on here anyways um, what I did is I put two transformers in their low wattage transformers. Um, they're uh, typically, the input here is uh, 120 volts. Output is 24 volts or 12 volts, something like that. A 24 volt center tap to 12 volts. And of course, here's the, the two primaries back or secondaries back to back. So this is fully isolated. So it should come in here, be transformed to 12 volts, and get transformed back up or to 24 volts AC get transformed from 24 back to 120. Um, but what I'm actually doing here is I'm using the full 24 volts here into only one half of the secondary transformer. So this gives me about 200 volts. And uh, what this you know basically does is double it a little bit. And the reason for this is I have uh, this guy right here, which is a, uh, come on, focus. This is a, uh, 200 volt, um, neon, uh, indicator lamp. There we go. <clears throat> Let me see if I can put this over here. And, um, this is for a project I'm working on. So typically the way I have this set up is that this light bulb, if you see there's a light bulb right there, is actually in series with the output of this and this outlet right here. Uh, so typically I'd plug something into this outlet and if it was a direct short or something like that, this would essentially become a load in line with it. Otherwise it's not there, it's not dissipating much heat. Uh, it's, you know, it's basically acting like a, uh, a short. Uh, circuit at that point. Uh, but if there is a direct short circuit over here, this will light up. And what that does is it's kind of a current limiting device and will also give you some indication that, hey, what you have turned on is seriously, you know, shorted. So this is important, like if you're using a tube amplifier, or, I don't know, some of that kind of stuff. So I'll show you how this works normally here. Um, just watch that and uh, let's see, I'm looking at the voltage here. Right now it's 16 volts output. And you can see, there you go. It's, uh, I'll turn the light off here. Got a nice indication there. And uh, if 
I remove this because it's in series with it, there you go. So that's how it should work normally if there's a good, you know, there's, there's nothing shorted. Now, what I'll show in the advantage to this is if it does short, I can take this here, take it off, and now if it shorts, the light bulb comes on uh, and voltage drops considerably as well when this happens, but light bulb comes up to full brightness. So the whole idea here is that if you do have something that's plugged in and shorted, number one, it's isolated. Number two, as you start ramping the voltage up, you're going to see that light bulb start glowing almost immediately if there's a bad capacitor or something like that. And if that is the case, well, this is a really neat way to visually see it and say, hey, I got to go solve a problem before, you know, this is only 30 volts on the light bulb, 30 volts on the circuit. And it's a nice way to uh, kind of limit inrush current too. If everything's working properly and you have, you know, no inlet inrush limitation on your current, this will get bright for a second and then it'll be fine uh, as you turn up the voltage. So this is uh, kind of a really cheap isolation transformer setup and you know it's only good for maybe an amp or two uh, if that uh, and it's like an amp or two it at, at, uh, it, it doesn't have much capacity even at, at um, uh, 24 volts the you know the secondary output here this transformer is getting really warm so uh, the whole idea here is this is for testing it's not something you would operate you know 24 7 and it's going to be able to support maybe you know a half amp or something like that at uh, 100 200 volts uh, which is the you know designed output here so it's a neat little idea and let me take this short out of here so we can get that okay and as you see as soon as i remove that i'm looking at the voltage meter here uh, let me see if i can zoom out Okay, so you can see the voltage there. Okay, so as soon as I short it, you can see the light come on and the voltage go way down because it's being limited in the transformers. And we got output there, it's 30 volts. So this also limits, you know, it's, it's a real nice way to limit your, your inrush current and things like that. And do a little bit of testing. Um, anyways, hopefully this, uh, I mean, this isn't my idea. This has been around since like the dawn of two-way radio. Um, I guess the only thing I'll mention is it is really important that this be a, uh, I'm using a halogen light in there. Uh, it, it has to be some sort of an incandescent device. You obviously can't use an LED bulb or, you know, something like that. So it, it, it's got to be a traditional bulb. Um, but again, not my idea. Uh, hopefully somebody will find it useful. Um, I, I mean, it, it, it's been out there for, for years, so uh, it's just, uh, I had parts around here and I had to rig something up real quick and uh, it's not elegant, but uh, it works. Anyways, uh, I'll see everybody later. Uh, this is uh, Brian Fields. Take care.